What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. Today I'm going to teach you about hornworms and how to get rid of them. So normally I don't really post outdoor content, but something really cool happened so I definitely wanted to share. Here are my tomato plants and if you look closely you can see the little pesky perpetrator that I'm about to be talking about. This little guy right here is a hornworm and he is responsible for all the damage on my tomato plants. So in this video I'm going to show you kind of signs that you have hornworms and how to kind of identify and find them and what to do with them once you get them. Because you will. First things first though, if you find one hornworm, you are bound to find more. I found a total of three including this one, which actually isn't too bad, but some people can have like 10 or more on their plants just chomping away, eating everything. They are pretty hard to find, even though when you look at their pattern it doesn't seem like they help you, but you can see in the footage here that it's pretty difficult to kind of spot them, and it did take me a little while to find the additional ones. So I'm going to show you some signs that they kind of leave behind so you can kind of know where to look on each plant in order to find them. The first pretty obvious sign is going to be missing leaves on your stems. A lot of the upper branches it seems like they like to eat. I didn't see them eating a lot of the old growth, so I think you're pretty safe looking at like the top half of the plant or anywhere there is new growth. You'll see that they strip the leaves all the way down to the stalk and that is a good sign that you have hornworms. Another pretty obvious sign is going to be half eaten tomatoes, but you really have to look at them closely because it has to look like there's little bites out of there. There are a lot of animals that will just take a chomp out of your plant and keep walking, but the hornworms kind of like chew away at it, so you really have to inspect your tomatoes. The last kind of odd way to find these is looking around the ground of your plants, and sometimes it gets caught on your plants, but it is hornworm poop. They have a really um, obvious kind of poop shape. <laughs> it, it looks really weird. I mean, it comes out very consistent. It's always the same shape and everything, but if you see this stuff around your plant, I can guarantee you got hornworms. Now, what do you do when you find out you do have hornworms and how do you get rid of them? Well, the first and easiest step would just be to pull them off your plant and put them somewhere else. I mean, you can dispose of them lethally or kind of leave them out in the open for the birds to get them. There are a few options or in my case, I keep them and kind of raise them hoping I can see the cool moth that will emerge from them. The second method, which is pretty good and is for prevention is BT. It's a bacteria that's in a lot of these like pest control fluids. It's usually a considered organic because again it's just a bacteria it's not some harsh chemical and you just spread it on your plants and as they eat the plants they consume the bacteria and the bacteria will kill them this is the same thing i use for fungus gnats i usually don't like using like anything outside that alters the environment just because when you start killing a bunch of insects it affects things in ways you wouldn't even realize or notice but i think the best method would be just to pluck them off however there is one third method that is pretty darn amazing after capturing three of these guys and kind of raising them and feeding them the kind of bad tomatoes, one of them actually had a parasitic wasp infection. Well, I don't know if you'd call it an infection, but basically there's this parasitic wasp that preys on these things. It lands on them and lays its eggs inside of the caterpillar. Once the eggs hatch into the larva, the larva will eat their way out of the caterpillar and then spin cocoons while attached to the dying but still alive caterpillar and then in about a week, little wasps will emerge. So. If you really want to work against nature with nature, I think your best bet is to collect these guys and watch them and feed them. And as soon as you see one that has these parasitic wasp larvae, put it back outside and let the wasps hatch and those will help control your population naturally. I was pretty ecstatic when I found that mine actually had the parasitic wasp. I've seen this stuff on the internet but never in person, so it's super cool to see. I tried pulling one of the larvae out of the body and it was pretty gross. It really reminded me of those like cyst or zit popping videos that were popular like five years ago but anyways it was pretty interesting to see kind of the circle of life well guys that pretty much sums up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and now you kind of know how to deal with hornworms appropriately i hope you guys didn't mind the kind of gruesome footage of the caterpillar with all the larva coming out of it but i thought it was cool to document kind of like the circle of life i guess in our natural world i really like that kind of stuff i think it's super cool so i hope you guys enjoyed it as always may your plants go strong and healthy i'll see you next time